I am Dr. Professor Rambali. I work as a senior consultant at Shagangaram Hospital in the Department of Medicine. I have served three presidents of India, Mr. R. Venkatraman, Dr. Shankar Yal Sharma, and Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, who has been awarded Bharat Ratna later on. And I have also worked at RML Hospital and I do a lot of charity also for seeing poor patients. Throughout my career in RML Hospital, I have been seeing all the patients of general OPD. Here we are talking about monkeypox. Library is doing a good job by bringing you the latest about monkeypox. As it sounds, it looks a dangerous disease and it is. It is a disfiguring disease and it's a viral disease. And we have been taking care of our patients of COVID and now suddenly we have another virus. This virus is different from COVID. Because COVID virus is an RNA virus, while monkeypox virus is a DNA virus. As it says pox, that means its manifestations are pox-like. That means we have skin lesions and in skin lesions we have all the types of skin lesions which are the classical lesions in dermatology. So we have uh, red lesions, uh, we have the water-filled lesions which are called uh, rash or we can call them uh, papule, macule and uh, that can be secondarily infected, they can become pustule or they can become crust. So crust is a dried version of uh, the pus filled or water filled lesions and uh, till uh, the time this crust falls, these patients, these patients remain infected to others. Basically, the infection goes through body fluids. This is also a contagious disease and WHO so far has not said that it is through the uh, respiratory micro droplets, but yes, it can go through respiratory droplets. Also, it can go through the fluid from the pustule body fluids like nasal secretions, tears and semen. Of late, uh, it has been talked that uh, the patients who had uh, been uh, seen spreading this, uh, have part of it has been spread by the uh, sexual uh, intercourse between men and men. So this is also one addition in the spread. And uh, I would still say that mask is a very good barrier to prevent the spread. And second is to avoid the contact. As far as symptoms are concerned, the monkeypox symptoms are like any classic viral illness and uh, incubation is 3 uh, days to 12 days. It can go up to 15 days, even more. So the symptoms are with fever obviously, there is an intense headache, there can be retrobulbar pain, that is pain behind the eyes and also a rash coming up, third to fifth day usually. So pain uh, uh, or headache is very intense in these cases. Then we have uh, all the uh, rashes coming up as I said and uh, this is uh, pox-like lesion. Pox-like lesion is spread uh, most of the part of the body and uh, this is either Central African or West African. These are the two major types of monkey pox. And in addition to these symptoms, we also have the glandular enlargement, that is lymphadenopathy. The glands could be uh, in the neck, the root of the neck, or also below, and sometimes in goinal area, in the groin area. So combined with all uh, fever, glandular enlargement, skin lesions, uh, these are the usual uh, lesions, uh, and then uh, there can be some skin ulcers also. This is in a classical case. Severe cases can have complications like chest infection or very, very rarely encephalitic lesions. But the deaths which we have been seeing are not primarily because of monkeypox. It is because of either secondary infection or in the patients who have immune compromised this status or those who are on steroids due to some other reason. These are the patients who could be transplant patients, liver and kidney transplant patients and some chronically ill patients, home steroids are a must like severe arthritis patients, SAD patients 
also patients of hypertension may be at uh, risk diabetic patients may be at risk so these are the uh, cases where we have to be extra careful especially children and elderly and uh, human to human transmission is now happening basically this is a zoonotic disease uh, like squirrels rope squirrels and uh, civets and rats monkeys mainly and rabbits uh, any uh, rodent uh, which is there in a given location through them it comes to the human being with close contact or not taking properly uh, cooked meat also um, in africa they eat uh, a lot of other varieties of meat and therefore they spread the seed now in india we have now got the three cases initially in kerala then one case came to delhi uh we have recently identified one more case in noida the tally may go up now the great things are happening about monkey pox in india we were already sensitized about monkey pox when the first case came to kerala after that the government of india especially our uh, health minister took uh, cognizance of it and issued instructions and uh, we sensitized our labs especially nib lab uh, to do the monkey pox uh, dna testing and we have been doing it in suspected cases and uh, the reports don't take much time uh, second or third day reports are coming in the meantime we symptomatically treat the patients now the great breakthrough has uh, occurred in india uh, we have isolated virus and that's the greatest breakthrough in the direction of making vaccine the previous days uh, it was thought that since we were inoculated in childhood before 1980 uh, smallpox vaccine could uh, give the immunity and that's why for a long time in india these cases uh, were not seen uh, other countries do have now by now uh, when i am talking in this video it's uh, reported in almost 77 countries it might go up also in india the cases are not much the density is population is a great thing we are always concerned <coughs> and uh, since we have learned about covid protocol avoidance of touching the surfaces is most important now uh, monkey pox is not a fatal disease per se as i told and uh, some countries uh, abroad have uh, procured uh, uh, vaccine uh, vaccine or they are storing and to, uh, giving to some extent to the patients and uh, it is shown to have uh, immunity against monkey pox but what india has done india is going to produce uh, proper monkey pox vaccine and uh, we shall do it very soon mm. initially standardization and production takes minimum 6 months so the government of india has issued instructions <clears throat> in the meantime uh, there is another breakthrough all india institute of medical sciences has developed laboratory facility to test the monkey pox so in delhi also we will have facility and uh, not necessarily all the samples from delhi would be sent to uh, nib now i was talking about vaccine now we we have a kara strain of uh, smallpox vaccine uh, vaccine a vaccine more correctly and also uh, ticovirimat this is a medication so we have a medication in hand we have a vaccine coming up so keeping this together and case fatality ratio 3 to 6% and mortality mortality less than 1% in a fresh case so summing up i can say that monkey pox is a new disease for us it will take time for the doctors to understand but its diagnosis is not difficult uh, the skin lesions have to be carefully observed but before that also one can spread the infection so keep distance avoid touching we are mask especially don't touch the surfaces and do hand sanitization repeatedly so all these things kept together i would say that uh, we would not have a very large uh, 
uh, spread of the monkeypox if we are very careful and we have to be careful because this is a, a, a new hazard already we have cases of swine flu coming up in some state and uh, covid has not gone uh, so we have to be very very careful and wearing mask is a healthy habit i am putting stress again and again on mask so wear the mask do hand sanitization keep distance and avoid contact and travel those people who are coming after travel they have to be isolated from children and from the elderly people and that's the general precaution thank you very much i congratulate librate for giving me a chance to speak about monkeypox